course they come out as a pothole looking like this. And there we are, excavated out. And once they've been excavated out, they're cut to a good, good sharp edge. How do you, so do you, do you take a shovel and get them out from there? Yeah. All right, you wanna, um, yeah, put me to work, let me know what you need to get done. And the asphalt is put in hot with some tack around the edges to seal it up and roll down with a roller to get the correct amount of compaction for the heavy equipment to be rolled over. Since this is a bus route, we try to pay it uh, more attention to this area. This is what they call a permanent cutout and repair. So this will go down as not just a pothole fill. Pothole fills are just something temporary that we can go in if we don't have enough time to do the cutting if, because we are so backed up on the potholes that we'll just temporarily fill it in. And once all the potholes are completed and people can drive over without ruining their cars or anything like that, then we'll come back and we'll do a cutout and repair, which is a permanent repair. We average about 50 to 75 pothole fills a day. Uh, we can do cutout repairs like this. We can probably do about five to six of these size a day easily. What they're applying on the permanent repair is a hot mix, which is more stable. Potholes will be filled sometimes when it's too cold for the plant to run, or if it's raining, they'll be filled with a cold patch, which comes in a bag. It's, it's a good material, but it doesn't hold up like hot mix does. What they're doing now is applying the final coat on top with the asphalt after the first compaction. The idea is to get a good even surface across with the um, edges rolled up a little bit so once we put the roller on there it will come pack down to be able to be driven on. edges right you have to tuck in the east edge from the existing asphalt with the new to add a little bit here and there make sure everything's evenly across so once we've um, put the bowler down on this everything comes out just right
within an hour after the process, it will be uh, able to be driven over by cars and trucks.